Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, CPN Crafts. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I made this cute little hot chocolate and coffee mug holder using items found at the Dollar Tree, as well as a couple of cute little mugs for Christmas. So if you wanna see how I created this, then just keep watching. The first thing I did was take this thankful sign from the Dollar Tree's Thanksgiving decor, and I just painted the top of the sign with this white chalk paint that I actually had on hand. I think I picked this up from Walmart and I just did two coats on the top leaving that black and white buffalo check exposed on the sides. While that was drying I took out two packs of the wood letters and one pack of the wood numbers to spell out the word cocoa and the five for the five cents. I didn't have a scent symbol, so I actually took one of the zeros out of that number pack, and I was actually using this Dollar Tree blade, and it wasn't working very well, so I do suggest using um, scissors. I think the wood is so thin that you could actually um, cut it that way, but I just cut it at an angle to create a scent sign or kind of like a C, and then I actually took a toothpick to go ahead and make the little notches on the end of the scent symbol. Next, I use my black chalk paint to coat the letters, and you can definitely use acrylic paint if you don't have chalk paint. You just want to remember to coat the inside and the outside of the letters as well, and you might need to do two coats with acrylic paint. Next, I just lined up the letters how I wanted them on the sign, and using my hot glue gun, just added a few daubs to each letter and then secured it to the sign. When I got to the scent part, I just took my painted toothpick and I just cut a couple small pieces off and then hot glued a little strip to them to add the little notches. Next I took this over the door hanging hooks from the Dollar Tree and using my E6000 glue I just applied a line of glue on the sides of that sign and on the top and then I actually go over that same strip of glue of E6000 with my hot glue gun and I just like using both because the E6000 is going to be a more permanent bond and the hot glue is a more instant bond so it won't slide around and move while I'm waiting for the E6000 to cure. Then I just centered it as much as possible and attached it to the hanging rack. And the last thing I did for this project was just take some of the Dollar Tree Christmas greenery and pine cones and little things like that and go around and hot glue little pieces on um, to hide the back wires on the rack as well as um, hot glue some on the top of the little sign just to make it look a little bit more Christmassy and rustic. I really love how it turned out and I actually had to go back and re-glue some of these pieces down with my other glue gun because this cordless glue gun was just giving me such a hard time. It wasn't melting the glue enough and things were falling apart. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because no crafting project I think is ever perfect and you're just going to have to adjust and um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. This next little DIY was inspired by the Ray Dunn mugs, and I know this font is really popular, and I've seen a few DIYs using this decal, so I thought I would make my own little mugs um, using these letters, and all I did to do that was cut out the letters individually, and then I spelled out the words Coco and Dasher. And I chose Dasher because I really want to find a way to incorporate all of the reindeer in my decor this year somehow. So I thought um, Dasher was perfect for this little mug. And I just love how these turned out. I think they turned out so cute. And they were so simple and inexpensive to make. It only cost me a dollar to make these because I already had the mugs and I just needed the decals. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't currently subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so. Love to have you here as part of my YouTube family. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.